Alright guys, what's up? This is All Out Zilla back with another video. And today, I'm going to be helping you, you know, pick out your badges as your big man. And this will be an ins- These are- This is my badge layout for the center build I made. You know, and let's get right to it. And as you can see, my build gets 22 finishing. We'll start out with that. So... And uh, my build, I made it so that I can really back down the post and that I can, so that I can, uh, you know, so I can score. My, my build more of a post score. So I use like Hall of Fame Back Down Puncher, Drop Stepper. I do Hall of Fame Lob City because I play twos a lot with my friends. And I do Contact Finisher. And let's see, I do some Pro Touch and also Relentless. But if you guys are, and I, I do Pro Touch in the Hall of Fame, these are the badges I run right now. And sometimes I take, I run this in Silver and I do D Pokes also. If we're re if I'm really running to the post most of the game. But when you're doing, but if you're doing like twos and threes, you know, Pro Am. You don't really need back down finisher or really drop stepper. You put that on. You put you use slither finisher, probably giant slayer, or not even that. I put on fifty footwork, maybe consistent finisher. That's if you're really running pick and you're running pick and roll. These are the badges I would run right here. Giant Slayer, Contact Finisher, Relentless. You know, maybe you don't, you don't want Pro Touch. Maybe you want a Relentless Finisher. But I'd run Pro Touch. I've this build Pro Touch shows up a lot whenever I'm finishing inside. So I like, I like to use Pro Touch. And you definitely want Lob City Finisher. Let's see. You also. I've noticed that, um, you know, maybe you take down some of these. Showtime is a really great badge this year. And it boosts your whole team's takeover. So, honestly, I recommend using Showtime as well. Especially if you have a lot more finishing badges. But, I know a lot of bigs, they like to run the pure red. So, you only get about, it depends how you make it, but at least run it on gold I would and that's our finishing badges shooting I only get one I run on deep fades because I put up my post fade on my post score but slippery off ball is probably the best for when you set a screen and you just easily slip right off of it it gives you great animations when you're setting the screen or you don't even have to set the screen you just slip it right away. That badge, that badge is great, even on bronze. And playmaking. With playmaking, definitely. Let's see. You want to start out with quick first step, and you want that on gold. And my, you can get. You definitely want quick first step as your, your first badge for playmaking. So you can really, you know, you never have to post up or anything. And uh, my second badge, I want, I want post fade technician. And then I use Dream Shake. Lots of people say Dream Shake doesn't work, but it pops up for me all the time when I'm playing. So I use it. I, you know, you shot fake in the post, and they jump, and then you go up. I mean, I like it. I also run unpluggable because um. I post up a lot. Like, you know, obviously, if you're not, you're not a post scorer, you don't want to use Dream Shake. I, I might put that on Lob City Passer. I, I don't even have that good of pass accuracy. But like, if you're playing in Pro Am, you might want to put. You probably want to use Break Starter. But I don't really. I don't think Break Starter is needed. I don't have a high pass accuracy, and I still throw it down court, and I don't ever use it, and I don't turn the ball over, so. 
their defense. Now, the most overpowered badge on the game right now is Heart Crusher. Definitely want that on the Hall of Fame. If you get a steal right off the bat in any game mode, a steal or block, and the opponent doesn't have takeover, the other team all goes cold. Not the person that turns it over, the whole team. So I would use Heart Crusher. That's also why you use Showtime. It, because if the other team's using Heart Crusher, Showtime is a great badge to counteract it. But definitely want to use Heart Crusher. I run Rebounder Hall of Fame. I put Clamps. Let's see, you need Clamps. I run Chase Down Artist on Bronze. Just so you can get the anim you get the you unlock the chase down animations on bronze, so you don't really need that higher. I run you gotta have intimidator, interceptor. I don't think you really need it that high. I run it on I either run it on bronze or silver. It just depends, but bronze is good enough. I don't really like the pogo badge, but it is in the game, so I use it. I run brick walls. Let's see. You gotta have some rim protection, so. I like it on gold. These are the badges I run. Now, if you don't want to use Heart Crusher, like, see, I only have 20 defensive badges. So maybe you don't want to use Heart Crusher. I feel like you should, just because it is so overpowered. But I know a lot of people. They run, they run the full pure red, so you'll, you have 30 defensive badges, so. You run Heart Crusher, you can put Intimidator in the Hall of Fame, and you still have more badges. You still got, what is that, three, that's only three more, so you still got seven badge upgrades. I put it on Pogo, so that's three more, 26. Upgrade Rim Protector, so that'd be 28. Then you still got two more. I put it on Clamps. So you can get that up to gold, so in case you have to switch on a screen, you can guard it way better. I mean, I guess you could throw the rest on box, but honestly, I don't ever use box. I, I don't really think you need it unless the other person's running worm. And in my experience, I mean... I don't have a problem boxing out people and I don't ever use box but you know you can if you feel like you really need it you can use it but those are the badges I run you will be very successful running these badges right now I mean I played a bunch of games on the park ransom break and pro am close to a 90 win precision park I mean, I've been successful. You know, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully this helps you. Helps you be a better player. Makes it easier to choose your badges. And thanks for watching.